Welcome back guys. <clears throat> In this video we're going to talk about theming. How to make the desktop look the way you'd like it to look. Now this is the default appearance. Uh, the f basically you have control over the themes, the icons, the fonts. Uh, you also have control over uh, several other aspects of the overall appearance of your desktop. So let's start making a few changes. I'm going to go through the process with you and then you can apply it as you see fit. So let's go through the settings panel and click on appearance. These are the themes that you have available to you. When you click one of these it will change the look of your screen and you can experiment with all of these default themes to find the one that you like best. I'm going to show you how to add a new one. So let's go into our software center. We'll have to enter our password. I'm going to close that out for a moment. We're going to do a search on theme. Now that's going to go through and bring up all of the themes that are available. You can see the ones that are already installed have a little green check mark. So we're going to pick a new theme to install so you can see how that process works. And we're going to install the Numix theme. So let's identify the Numix theme and double click it. And we're going to click on install. That's going to go through and it's going to install the theme. Now normally it, it will update so that it shows in our available themes. Let's take a look under appearance and there is the new mix theme. I'm gonna click on that and as you can see it changed my panel to dark and it made a few other changes to the system. So I'm gonna leave the new mix theme and I'm gonna to go to icons. Now we've got a few different icons to pick from mainly the minty icons, gnome, and adwaita. We're gonna install another set of icons. So we're gonna go back to our software manager and as you can see now the little box has an orange tint to it orange border everything is coordinated with that new mix theme so let's open up software and now instead of searching for themes we're gonna search for icons so I C O N that should bring up icon themes You've got a lot of different themes to pick from. I am going to pick the Fienza theme. The Fienza icon theme. That should be here. There it is. Fienza icon theme. You see that? I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to install it. Now that will give you a little bit of a different look to your icons <coughs> and your folders. I'm going to close out the software and go to, well I'm already in my appearance and let's see if I recycle if Fienza, I'm going to close it out, reopen software, I'm sorry reopen my panel appearance icons and you can see Fienza is there I'm gonna since I went to a darker theme I'm gonna select Fienza dark and I want you to pay attention to these icons in the bottom system tray on the right right now they're they're hard to see because they're configured for a lighter theme but watch what happens when I check on Fienza Docker. You see how those are now highlighted? So I'm going to leave that on Fienza because I happen to like the Fienza icons. Now my 
fonts are set to Noto Sans. I'm going to see if, how many others are available out of the box. Now you see you've got the Ubuntu uh, fonts that are already available. If I click on Ubuntu, regular, 10, and click OK, it's going to give you a little bit of a different look. I happen to like the Ubuntu fonts, so I'm going to leave that there. Go back to all settings. <clears throat> And right now we've got a, a totally new look for our desktop except for the wallpaper. So let's go to desktop. It's going to bring up the rest of the uh, wallpaper selection. As you can see there are a ton of wallpapers available. And you can just select the one that you like. And as you can see there are a variety of very very nice wallpapers you've got a lot of scenic wallpapers and I happen to like this one right here so I'm gonna leave that for now and I'm gonna go back to all settings now <clears throat> now we have a new wallpaper we have a new theme we have new icons and new fonts you can experiment with others as you see fit. So guys, that is how you can change the look of your system to match exactly what you want. Now, if you'll notice, the menu itself has changed color by selecting the new mix theme. So instead of a flat gray, you've got a little bit of a darker look to it, which I happen to like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.